Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and today we are checking out the Tone Speak Boston. It's an Alnico speaker with a revolutionary tone. <laughs> So the Tone Speak Boston, this is a great 10 inch Al Nico speaker and today I have it loaded in to an older Mesa Boogie Subway Rocket which is quite a little powerful amplifier. Now this is uh, an offering that's kind of intended to compete with so to speak, you know, something like a Jensen P10Q or R whatever the letter code is that's just it's 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 a competitor for that and what i like about this speaker is it it has a nice kind of in the middle voicing now with Alnico speakers, I tend to expect them to be warm, and then sometimes I'm shocked when they can also be equally bright. This one has a nice combination of both. It has some nice warmth to it, but it's not lacking in the clarity. It's also not just too bright and brittle, and it really wasn't from the start. I have taken some time to break this speaker in before shooting this review, and uh, you know, right off of the bat, kind of installing it into the amplifier, it wasn't too bright or brittle or anything. It didn't even really need to loosen up that much. It just sounded pretty good. So this is a 20 watt speaker. It's 8 ohms. Again, this one is a 10 inch. It has a 1 inch copper voice coil, craft paper former, a 6.8 ounce Alnico magnet, and a USA made seamed paper cone. Again, it just kind of is really good for classic tones and I think it's a very suitable replacement for something like a Jensen, especially if you want to warm up the sound and get a more reasonable top end to listen to. The reason I say is more reasonable. The reason that I say more reasonable, slow down, use your words. The reason that I say more reasonable is because it would be easy to use a kind of a classic phrase like tames the top end or, or something like that. But one of the things that I like about tone speak speakers, and I have I do have a number of them in, in other amplifiers. One of the things that I like about them is that they deliver a clear top end that's not piercing. Sometimes when you talk about taming the top end, you're just talking about making it warmer and duller. But Tone Speak somehow does this thing that I like where, again, that top end is still really clear, but not in a way where it's just like, you know, hits you the wrong way if you're standing right in front of the amp or, you know, particularly playing at louder volumes. There's kind of a sweetness to it that I think really works, and uh, and it doesn't lose clarity or fidelity. So, particularly for an amp like this, this if you're familiar with the Mesa Boogie Subway Rocket, this is a pretty edgy amp, uh, particularly when you get up to louder volumes, it really just has, it has that, that Mesa boogie kind of edge and cut to it. Like, you know, for those of you who know Mesa that you expect. And this, again, it kind of like honored that, but delivered it in a better way, I want to say, as opposed to the old Mesa black shadow that came with this amplifier. So you've just heard it both clean and overdriven with a Telecaster. Now, 
were going into the amp, the clean was clean. The overdrive for the Telecaster was using a Maxon OD808 Tube Screamer. Now we're going to use it with an SG, so you can hear both clean and overdriven with the SG. And for that, we're just doing the amp tones. We're going to do it on the rhythm channel, the clean channel, and then use the Subway Rockets drive channel, so you can hear kind of the natural drive from the amp and how the speaker responds to that. So let us know what you think. Is this a speaker company that you have bought from before? Have you ever used any other ones? Do you have this speaker? Do you have preference over Al Nico or Ceramic Magnets? I do want to say thank you to Tonespeak. This is a sponsored review. They sent me this speaker to do the review. And again, I have done a number of other reviews with them. And I use their other speakers, particularly have the Liverpool and the Birmingham in my Marshall. Uh, and I actually might move those into my Laney just because the, the Laney could kind of use that top end sweetness a little bit more than the Marshall could, but great speakers that I'm absolutely utilizing. It's kind of always just a question of where with speakers. That's neither here nor there. Thank <laughs> you. 